okay guys we'll be designing a book cover today this in another perspective so we have already changed the image size and this image size is 4 by 7 that is the image size we are using 4 by 7 so we'll just the title of the book we want to design is the fear so I'll just add the text Just increase it. Increase the size. Position it at the center. Now I can just as well lock it. I've not changed the font this time around, but I will still do that. Then I'll add another test. That's what it is here. as well I will increase the size let's position this at the center so as well I will lock it then I will just import the background let me just write let me just say written by by we just use any name AGK Okoye so this one you will reduce it make it 25 and I'll let's change this one from immediately Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll position it this way. Then we can as well add. Let's log this first. Then we'll copy it. Add edited by. No. Edited. By. Let's change it to Paul. Paul. Let's say Paul Daniel. Paul Daniel. Let's bring this written by up. Let's take it up and put this below. So you can see, and you can, you can as well add the design of the book cover, like the graphics. So you can as well as that. So we say written by AGK Okoye, edited by Paul Okoye. So let's just increase the size. Let's make them 30 30. 30 30. Now we'll take this up a little bit. Take this other one down a little bit. The fear. So in this aspect, we can as well so in this aspect changing the background color with this I can say black we'll use gradient and the gradient we are going to use will use black and white which it to be in the white 
at the center of it again the black will be around like let me just edit it and show you so we'll go to color this aspect will change it to the right aspect will change it to black you can see then this other aspect will change it to white I see just like in form of black and white you see what I'm doing so in form of black and white so this is what I was trying to say if here but if you have an image if there is an image that you have that you have removed the background you can make the image maybe black and white change the color make it black and white You make it black and white, then you fix it at this center. You know, this book is the fear. So, but in this aspect, me, I have, I'm not, I'm just showing you how the background for this book will be. But I have a background already that I will import, which have an image. So I'll use it, I'll use it to design this book. So just import our background from gallery so you can see you see how the button is this is just it just very simple so when you want to design a book you just try to get like have a hint of what the book is all about let the writer tell you like give you a clue of that book say ah this is what this book is all about so i need a design for this book so with that you know what to design so i'll just change the font of this here let me take this up a little bit So you just okay let me take this this one up a little bit because I want to change the fonts and I'll go ahead and change the fonts here so let me position it at the center using relative position I'm going to make it small, smaller than it is. I want it to be this way. If I so I will just change the font. No, then I swear use the same font. Yeah. Give yeah. So you can see. Give yeah. Look at the background. Looking at the background of this image, you show how you just have a clear ah. Give yeah. This book is going to be interesting like you know your design will attract people okay let me know the content of this book then when they see the content they'll be like okay should i get this book or not so if you want to design make sure you have a clue or not just someone tell you ah, i want to design a book cover 
want to design. I want you to design a book cover for me. And you just, they will just take the title and you just go ahead to design. No, not like that. You just tell the person. You just have to ask the person what, like, what is, what, do you, what is the clue? Just give me the clue of that book. What is the uh, the book talking about? So once you have the clue of that book, then you will know what to design. So that is just the way to put up your design. So we'll just take this up again. Let's just take it up, up, up. Up, 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 up. These two. Okay, so it seems that this is, is too big. So with this, I think we are done with this book cover design. That is just all about this, the fear. That is all about it. So I want to just design this, you just mock it up, you mock up the book and you send it to your clients. You know, your client, this is just the front page, like, front page of the book cover then the back page of the book cover that one the client will give you what to put in there just type me about the author just as you right take a type about the author he will be the one to give you every details and to add his image or if he do not like he don't want the image to be there he will not give it to you but if he wants his image to be there it's okay, you have to you add the image, that is just it. So this is just to design a book cover. Thank you for participating for this tutorial. God bless you. I wish you good luck. Okay, so I want to mock up this book now. I want to present it as mock up. So as I will just save as image. So I just save as image. I will just import. Remember, if you want to import a mock-up background, just go to background setting. Just import it. So I'm going to use this for the mock-up, just like before. You see, everything I've scattered. So you just make all this invisible. So you just import the image. You know, we we'll just save the image. Any image you save first should be here, so it should be the first image here. So you just click the last image you just save. We just save it recently, so just click on this. So this is it. It is the size. This is what we got here. You can see this is it. The fear. Just position it very well the way it should be.
This is the book of uh, So this is the mock up. You can as well add maybe you can add shadow if you add a little shadow to it just add shadow you can see the difference now see the way the mock up is by adding shadow so like this you can just present it to the to your client like this you present it to him and that just it this will just take it out this look good if here written by hk okoye edited by paul daniel that is just all about the book so there are so many ways once the person just give you the clue of the book you should know what you should design so you just go ahead make findings get all the materials you need for it so that is just it that will mock you up. then we'll just save as image so that is all about book design and mock up. And if you know, you should look for different, like have different book mock ups so that when you present this one in this way, you present the other one in the other way, then make it. Everything should be different, different book mockups. You just get them. I'll still show you where you get mockups, where you can download mockups. So that is just it.